yo what's up guys welcome to another video from manifest sound and in today's video we're going to be showing you five free vst plugins you need to get in 2023 and without wasting much of your time let's dive right into this session so guys here we are inside of fl studio and the number one plugin on our list today is called odin 2 and it is actually a synth plugin with a lot of knobs and faders as you can see it has categories like apps and sequences atmospheres bases chimes chip tune drones drums and instruments keys leads organs pads sfx and stabs category as you guys can see this plugin has a lot of sound and time wouldn't permit us to start testing them one after the other but then it's a free plugin and we'll leave the download link in the description so that you guys can also make use of it but that being said let's see if we can create a chord progression using some of these sounds Yeah, so you can actually play around the um, different functions and knobs and faders in the plugin. For instance, there is a phaser effect that you can enable here, or probably a chorus effect or a flanger effect, and then also a reverb. You can actually do a lot with this plugin. Alright, so guys, moving to the next plugin we have on our list today. The name of the plugin is called BBC Orchestra and it is by speedfire audio and um this is actually a free plugin by speedfire audio and it is so 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 good to be free let's check some of the sounds in this amazing plugin particularly for orchestra music and one of the most interesting thing about this plugin is you can actually preview the sounds one after the other yeah so that's violin one that's another violin sound and then we have violas and then we have celli and then we have basses so um while previewing these sounds if you find the one that best interests you you can actually favorite it here moving to the brass category now as we just finished previewing sounds in the strings category for the brass category we have ons next up we have trumpets then we also have tenor trombones then next up we have bass trombones then lastly for the brass category we have tuba and then moving to the woodwinds category we have flutes we have piccolo we have oboes we have clarinets we have bosons and then to the last category which is the percussion category we have up and celest next up we have percussion and then lastly we have tune percussion we're going to be using the violin sound in this plugin to complement the chord progression we created earlier. Yeah, so guys, moving to the tall plugin on this list, we have a plugin called Subdivine, and as the name implies, it is a bass plugin. We are going to be checking out shortly. Yeah, so guys um this is actually a beta version of the main main plugin as you guys can see it's called subdivine light even despite being the beta version it has some amazing bass sounds i think about five of them which is bounce dive doing it right 1000 fathoms deep 
not a mousetrap deep deep classic sub like this so guys having created something in our panel role, we are going to preview some of these sounds in this plugin Moving to the fourth plugin on this list, we have a plugin called VS Conga, and it's a percussion VST plugin that is just meant for conga sounds only. Um, we are going to preview it shortly. You can actually preview the sounds by clicking this place. Yeah, so those are the three sounds this conga VST plugin is made up of. And let's see how it can fit into these chord progressions that we have. So guys this plugin is actually very very useful when you need a conga sound as soon as you can get it you can just pull up this vsc plugin and create some percussion reading okay, so guys lastly on this list we have a plugin which is actually like a library for um, a free sampler plugin called descent sampler we actually talked about this plugin in one of our videos and it's actually a sampler plugin more like a contact player but this time it's a decent sampler which accepts libraries just like contact player and for uh this particular video we are going to be using a free library called epic guitar yeah so this plugin is just particularly a guitar sound but more epic which you can use for your orchestra music afro beats and my piano whatsoever you are doing this guitar can actually fit into it and we are going to also see how it fits into these chord progressions we have been playing since you also can control um, the micing positions whether the close of the room and then for the gallery also you can also control the ambience level as you can see the ambience now yeah so i think the ambience sends it to the back like adds more reverbs to it as you can see and if we reduce it, it sounds more close so in context of this progression we have been playing since let's see how it fits in So guys something very very interesting we can do to this our melodies to add a drum loop we can just pull up one loop from the redeem drum loop pack that we released some times back if you haven't gotten your copy the link will be in the description i'm going to pull up the bada full loop yeah, yeah, yeah it automatically fits into the tempo and let's see how it sounds If you find value in this video kindly hit that like button and if you are new to this channel also hit that subscribe button and turn on notification for subsequent updates from this channel see you guys in the next video peace out